Shalom and shalom and welcome to our Funky Bible Daily Devotional. Today's sermon title is Divine Intervention and the Power of Faith. And this comes from 2 Maccabees chapter 11. Dear brothers and sisters, today's scripture from 2 Maccabees 11 presents a profound narrative of faith, divine intervention, and ultimate triumph of God's people over seemingly insurmountable odds. This chapter illustrates how God's providence and the unwavering faith of his followers leads to miraculous victories and peaceful resolutions. Let us explore the key events and their spiritual implications for our lives today. Number one, the threat of Lysias, and this comes from verses one to five. Lysias, the king's protector and cousin, amasses a massive force of 80,000 soldiers and numerous horsemen to subdue the Jews. His intent is to turn Jerusalem into a Gentile city and profit from the temple, disregarding the power of God. Lysias' arrogance and disregard for the power of God highlights the futility of human pride and ambition against divine will. In our lives, we may face threats and challenges that seem overwhelming. However, we must remember that no earthly power can prevail against the plans of our God. Our strength lies in recognizing his sovereignty and trusting in his protection. Yeshua HaMashiach's protection. The power of prayer and divine encouragement, verses 6 to 10. Upon hearing of the siege, Judas Maccabeus and the people fervently pray for divine intervention. Their prayers are answered when a heavenly figure clothed in white and armed with golden armor appears to them, filling them with courage and readiness for battle. This passage underscores the power of prayer and the importance of seeking God's help in times of distress. The appearance of heavenly figures symbolizes divine encouragement and the assurance that God is with his people. In our spiritual battles, we must rely on prayer, believing that God hears us and sends his angel to support and guide us. Miraculous Victory and Lysias Defeat, verses 11 to 12. Empowered by their faith and divine support, the Jews launch a fierce attack, killing 11,000 foot soldiers and 1,600 horsemen. Lysias, realizing the futility of fighting against a people aided by Almighty God, flees in disgrace. The miraculous victory achieved by Maccabees serves as a testament of the power of faith and God's intervention. It reminds us that with God's help, we can overcome any obstacle. The victory also serves as a humbling lesson for those who oppose God's people, illustrating that true strength and success comes from acknowledging and aligning with God's will. Peace negotiations and divine favor. And this comes from verses 13 to 26. Lysias, recognizing the divine favor upon the Jews, initiates peace negotiations. He promises to advocate for the Jews to the king, ensuring their right to live according to their laws and customs. The king's letters affirm this agreement, granting the Jews peace and restoration of their temple. This peaceful resolution highlights the importance of wisdom and diplomacy in achieving lasting peace. It also reflects God's faithfulness in honoring the prayers and perseverance of his people. In our lives, we must seek peaceful solutions grounded in justice and righteousness, trusting that God will work in the heart of those who in power to bring about favorable outcomes. Roman support and assurance, and this is verses 34 to 38. The chapter concludes with a letter from Roman ambassadors expressing their support for the agreement made by Lysias and affirming the Jews' rights of protection. The support from the Romans signifies God's ability to use even foreign powers to accomplish his purposes. It reassures us that God can work through various channels to protect and bless his people. We should remain open to God, God's unexpected ways of providing help and support in our journey of faith. In conclusion, 2 Maccabees 11 is a powerful narrative of faith, divine intervention, and ultimate triumph of God's people. It encourages us to trust the power of prayer, recognizing God's sovereignty, and seek peaceful resolutions grounded in justice. As we reflect on these events, let us commit to deepening our faith, relying on God's protection, and pursuing peace in our lives. We are supposed to walk with the shoes of the gospel of peace, correct? Let us pray for the strength to uphold our faith, the courage to face our challenges, and the assurance that God is with us, leading us to victory and peace. In the name of Yeshua Mashiach, amen and amen. Shalom and shalom until next time. May God keep you and bless you. Bye-bye for now.